fun. How fun? I don't know. Fun, fun. Super fun? Super fun. Super, Super fun, fun, fun times. Fun. Instead of riding on a skateboard, it'll just be like web sling. Or actually, it'd be like a hoverboard, like Green Goblin, probably. Mm. So anyway. Hello again. Welcome back to TS Powerline. I'm Chris. I don't have a cool name like Kino the Kino Kino, but we'll figure out one later. So anyway, I'm going to be showing my Revenger deck for what I've changed from pack BTO, GBTO06. So anyway, let's get to it. Alright, my starter for the deck is Judge Pal because Judge Pal is only the only good starter for every Revenger deck. Whether you like it or not. Whether you like it or not. We got trigger lineup is four heals, because later we want to be able to G guard and have fun. And, well, have fun and make my opponent not have fun. Play 12 crit, because we don't need draws where we're going. We're just going in there and trying to beat them, beat them in the face really hard. And now we can actually play 12 crits, even though we could before, but I was never a fan of playing 12 crits with this. I always I always liked the two-draw tech. That was fun. Uh, four, PGG, to unflip Counter Blast, because I can run out of them really fast with this deck. Um, you can also play the Revenger ones. It's not a bad idea. I just don't want to play it. Four, Limit Break Enabler cards, because this deck is running Raging Form. And raging form in one turn, two raging forms in one turn, can severely hurt the opponent. Four of the new Revenger of Vulgar, Mar, or in Japanese his name was Mal, but Mar is cool too. When he's placed Counterblast 1 Revenger, if you have a grade 3 or greater Vanguard that is Revenger? Question mark? Yep, Revenger in its name, you can pay the cost. If you do, you can search for anything on the Vanguard circle. So if you're in Legion, you can search for a Blaster Dark Revenger, um, Abyss. If you're in Stride, you can try to search for one of your Strides in the deck and then fail. And then, like, cry, because you tried to search for a Stride in your deck. But but that's something that won't come up. And then the last two are just Masquerade Revenger, because he's a Revenger. And you can do some early attacks. He's a 10k. Can't complain. He makes more, more a 16k column. Great twos, we play four Blaster Dark Revenger Abyss, because retiring starters is always really good, and you need it for the Legion. Four Revenger Dark Bless? Yeah. Four Revenger Dark Bless Angel. When you pay when you kill her for the effect of a cost, you can counterblast one and look for any Revenger unit that's grade one and call it to the field, which can enable you to do raging form multiple times in one turn. Usually that was like almost impossible. You had to hit with Judge Bow, get it off with with Break Ride, call two cards, and then have another copy of Raging Form. Now it's just the same thing, but it's just get this grade two, and you're pretty much set for doing it. And for Mana, because Mana is the plus engine of this deck, and it's the only way to get multiple, the only other way besides Judge Bow and more to get multiple cards from the deck. So pretty much you just play her. Uh, also some some little heads up for you potential Raging Form players are regional. If you ride mana, you have to actually shuffle the deck even if you don't get a card. Because, remember, you have to do as much as possible on the card. When she's placed, you must search through the deck, four up to one. If you don't search, you still have to shuffle because part of her effect says you shuffle your deck. So it doesn't matter if you don't get a grade one. You still have to shuffle it. Or you could potentially get a warning game loss. I don't know. Depend you cheated or not that day. You might actually get a loss for that. But it's a heads up. Every time you ride mana or play her and don't do the effect to like call a card, you still have to shuffle regardless. But you call mana, you can get a grade one, any grade one from the deck that's a revenger or lower, or a grade one or lower, and you can pretty much keep it on the field until the end of the turn. And you pretty much use that for the raging form turns to keep your hand uh, more cards and then obviously we play four raging form because raging form it's made in, it's made a return i'm so happy i kept mine hopefully next uh drag ruler will actually get a revival somehow that'd be interesting i'd play it i love drag ruler phantom his art looks really good and then for the rest we just play 
three Abyss because you want to Legion. I mean, you can play four Abyss. I was playing four before, but I wanted to increase the number of the um, the Angel so I can hope to do the ranging form combos more. Uh, and you don't really stride too much with this deck. Like, when G-Guard happens, you'll pretty much only stride into, like, Spectral or Diablo and not care. So, now we get to the strides. We play True Revenger, Drag Ruler, Revenant. Uh, for Drag Ruler, he's kind of necessary because you can call Mana, use Mana to get a Grade 1, like, Maw or something like that, and then use his effect to kill that Grade 1, and then get another one. So, you got a free card that turn. And depending on which one you call, like, you can call more, Counter Blast, get a Raging Form to hand, use his effect, kill another more, and get more of more. Ha ha ha, bad jokes incoming. Um, and then get another Raging Form to your hand. And you played one card from the hand, you added two of them back to your hand, and now you have a permanent grade one on the field. So he's nice at one. Uh, Grim Recruiter for when you don't have mana and you want to, like, potentially get something. You can always, like, Revenant something bad, like a grade 3, an extra copy of something you don't want in your hand. Uh, and then the rest of the strides are for Diablo that gain crit. Because I played I played a game where I played, I took out two of them for Orgeyser, and I had actually did the effect once for the critical. And then I would have killed my opponent the turn afterward if I actually played it at 4. But I didn't, and I was very upset with myself, so never again. Never again am I not playing it at 4. And now it won't matter in the future, because the deck's going to be increased to 14. I mean, 16. So I'll have the space for all the extra Persona G cards I want. And then last but not least, two Spectral Diablos, because the mirror match is annoying as can be, and you want to be able to restand at points. Although if you go forth first and you have Raging Form, you don't have to care, because they're going to get hurt really hard from that. And that's my Revenger deck for right now. Yeah. Pretty much that.